Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, our King of glory, he has done it one, once more. That is giving us a breath. So beloved, we have to thank him, our rock and our salvation, our King of glory, Master Jesus, you are in control of our life. We exhort you, praise you, magnify your name. The name alone is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, who died on the cross to save us. Father, we appreciate you. Lord, our King, we appreciate you for doing this for your children around the whole world. We magnify the name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a mighty God that we serve. We thank you for another day that we are still breathing on our own. And it is your mercy that has given us a life. Thank you, thank you covenanted God. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved in Christ, this is another day. And I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kanewu for listening to end time prophets that you avail yourself in a daily basis. And what God gave it to him, he also gave it to all his viewers. May your heart desire be met by our King of glory. Amen. Beloved, he has given us a word. And the title of the message is, we should not harden our heart. And the Psalm 95, and the verses are seven to 11. So beloved, let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. David knew his God. So this morning, do you and I, do we know our maker? Do we praise him? Do we sing to him? So this morning, beloved, we have to do it. So let us hear Psalm 95, 7 to 11. And I read verse 7. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebel, rebellion, as in the day of the trial, in the wilderness, when your fathers, that is nine, tested me, they tried me, though they saw my work. For 40 years, I was grieved with that generation. And I said, it is a person who go astray in their hearts and do not know my ways, the last verse. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Beloved, this is God giving us his word in Psalm 95, verse 7 to the end. The seven says, we are his pastures. That means he created you and I. We belong to him. But this morning, my question 
have you availed yourself serving almighty Jehovah, the one who created you, the one who died for you and I, the one who has given us a salvation. Are you serving him? That's why David was a man of God's heart. So this morning, David is no more there. It is you and I. Do you belong to him? Or you are a rebellious child? Or a son of Satan? So today, he is asking you and I. The eighth says, we shall not harden our hearts. That means we have to know him. We have to serve him. And it is fearful thing to fall into the hands of God. Those who does not know him, it is fearful. So that's why he said, do not harden your hearts. The hearts must be upon our Lord Jesus Christ only. He alone is the owner of our life. So this morning, the question has come that the heart belongs to him and we should not harden it. Hallelujah. And the nine says, our fathers tempted him in the wilderness. And beloved, what happened? Those who were arguing with Moses, the chorus, we all know, our God Almighty, the owner, the controller, the maker, all those people, they went, he departed the earth, and what happened? They were drawn, hallelujah. Beloved, he said 40 years, they tempted him in the wilderness, and what happened? He fed them. He is a mighty God. He, in, he is in control of our lives. Everything on this planet belongs to him. Satan does not have anything. He come to steal, John 10, 10, to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But beloved, our God is so unique. Our God is so good. That's why this morning, he is telling you and I, the hearts should not be hardened so that we will know him and fellowship with the spirit of God. We give him all his glory. So beloved, the last verse, he said, so I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Beloved, no one can fight against God and win. Never. He knows you. He knows me. He is in control. Master, Jesus, the owner of life, have mercy upon us. Father, have mercy upon us. Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. For would you, all things are possible. Mighty Jehovah, may you have mercy upon us this day, because it is only this day that we have. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. So beloved, you have to change your mind and your mindset and your thoughts. It is for today to repent. What a king. He has saved us. So beloved, it is time to serve almighty God. It is time not to harden our hearts. He knows us, our inside and outside. And the more we repent, we can go to him. And the more we serve him, his arms are open. So this morning, those 
who does not know our Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of life, it is time for you to repent. It is time to give your life to the Savior. He alone can save you. He alone is worthy to be praised. Master Jesus, we thank you for, for giving us a word to feeding our soul, our soul need to be fed in a daily basis. May your name be praised. Thank you, thank you, thank you, covenanted God. We give you all your honor. We give you all your glory. As you share your glory with no man, may your name be praised. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, you are with us. And you are the governor on the land. So this morning, the word has come forth. May you empower your end time prophets. You have ordained him. And all the, pro the prophecies that he shared is from you. And master, Use him because you are the one that you have ordained him. May you bless him. May you bless the wife. May you bless the children with a protection and also his viewers. May they keep on listening to him in a daily basis and may their heart desire be met. In you, our Lord Jesus Christ, your word has come forth. Amen and amen. We thank you, covenanted God. 